Morning farmers. I'm trying to get a picture of my shiny, shiny snow for ya. Morning again farmers. I showed you <laughs> my pretty, pretty snow. So now let's look at my pretty, pretty tomatoes. Let me get down there on the floor. Okay, so you can tell I started the Zap and the OM Goods at the same time. Those two fit into the cabinet. You know, I keep my tomatoes in the kitchen cabinet, the one that's over the uh, heating vent. Whew. Man, I hate that when I do that. Lose a word like that so weirdly. So this is the uh, new ones. These are new. The Zapotex. And these are new. These are the Genovese. They're from Genovese, Italy. These are from my backyard. And these are from my backyard. The Excellent is part of the, uh, the round ones from Rome. What were those called? Romanesca? Something like that. The Pantana Romanesca. And this is the Rosso Sicilian. But now they're called OM Good. Uh, look at, check this out. I don't know if you can see it. I'll point at it. That is a little green shoot. And that is going to be the moringa trees. The corn salad is growing. I've had uh, some young men in the house working on my house insulating. Oh my gosh, it's been raining insulation. It's awesome though. So much warmer. So much warmer. Uh, yeah, I keep, I have to, there's a sheet that I use to cover it up during the day when they're working. So all the windows are open. So I keep it kind of heated underneath here because, you know, my tomatoes are pretty important. So I'm still having trouble with the leaf curl on this pepper, but it's growing. I've got a new tomato, or tomato, that would be a miracle, uh, a new pepper, another little shorty pepper growing, I don't know if you can see it, and one, two, three big ones, and this one's starting to turn colors. So that's kind of cool. I'm having trouble with this green thread. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, the wild bergamot, the Native American tea, is doing really good. Now, I put seven dust on it and saved it. I put the seven dust on this, trying to save it. Because see all that? I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's just equalizing in this or what. But we'll find out. So... This is, what, three years in the making, almost four years in the making? I planted that the first year, and the seeds never grew. And uh, all of a sudden, they started growing, so English lavender. This is called Nicotiana. It's a, it's a tobacco plant. It's not the kind you smoke. It's just a, a night-blooming tobacco. Well, not tobacco. <laughs> it's a night-blooming plant. That oh hey look at this I got huh I don't know what's going on anyway uh yeah so this is the toothache plant that I grew last year too but this year I'm gonna keep it in the house so I can make the uh, the numbing spray out of the flowers the American leeks American flag leek. It is, uh, first time on that, so I don't know. <laughs> that thing has grown. Oh my goodness, it's just growing, growing, growing. So it's getting bigger and bigger. It got some cold damage, see that leaf there? It got some cold damage from having the door open, or the uh, windows, all the windows open. Here is the uh there's rosemary in the back back there i don't know if you can see it there's rosemary she's doing real good that's the chrysanthemum greens that i eat for salad curled cress lemongrass
lemongrass my onions now these are what I tried to grow last year the Italian flat sweets the purple Italian flats I grew them um, last year but I only did I followed the instructions and I did it six or eight weeks I think before and they never got to be bigger than a thread so this year I've been you know I planted them like last September I don't know September maybe August but you know I did it way early and I'm glad because look they're still only that big they're still not even big enough to be slip shit that is the only mustard that grew the only mustard plant oh wait there's another one hey see this is what they did they all just would sprout and then just die so I don't know but uh, <clears throat> yeah that's where our garden is and I just wanted to give you mainly a uh, update on how the onions and tomatoes are doing and that pepper of course but you farmers have a wonderful day. Keep farming.